Hillsong is a Pentecostal denomination that originated in Australia. With a chain of megachurches spread across the globe and a series of best-selling albums, the group has become an international empire. But there are some dark aspects to the megachurch that I'll be exploring coming up. What's happening educated guys and gals? I hope you had a good weekend. If you're here for the very first time, welcome to my channel, I'm Alan. If you want to learn how to unlock the hidden meanings behind the occult symbols in music, movies, and television, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. Then you can hit the bell, that way you'll receive notifications every time a new video comes up. I just want to give a shout out to Gabby who suggested this topic. Alright, let's delve into Hillsong. Former window cleaner Brian Houston founded Hillsong in 1983. Through the use of strategic marketing and contemporary worship music, the congregation quickly grew from 45 members to 20,000. The church is very popular amongst the young. Hillsong's rapid growth led to chapters being formed across the world, including New York and Los Angeles. But concerns abound amongst conservative evangelicals as to Hillsong's fidelity to the gospel. Hillsong concerts crank out a rock and roll show on par with anything the world has to offer. They feature light and sound effects and heavy metal guitar riffs akin to a Katy Perry performance. Hillsong has produced more than 40 albums, which have sold over 11 million copies worldwide. But the soundness of the theology of many of these songs is suspect. lyrics have nothing distinctively Christian to them. In fact, they could easily be mistaken for a high school love letter. He didn't want heaven without us, so Jesus, you brought heaven down. The lyrics of this song are less ambiguous, but contain serious doctrinal error. Nowhere do the scriptures teach that an unsatisfying solitude in heaven was the reason for the incarnation. In fact, redemption is first and foremost for the glorification of the triune God. The lead pastor of Hillsong, New York is Carl Lentz. Pastor Carl Lentz is not your mama's preacher. He's a leather jacket wearing, bike riding, buff hipster who rolls with music's A-list, celebrities and sports superstars. He even baptized Justin Bieber in an NBA player's bathtub. How does your message differ? We heard Joel Osteen talk about sort of what he preaches, yeah. his philosophy. So what is your philosophy, Carl? Um, well, first of all, I love Joel, and I'm thankful for men um, like him who have paved the way for younger guys like me to um, have an opportunity to do what we do. Um, Joel is a, is a pioneer, and his message of hope is similar to ours. Joel Osteen is one of the leading proponents of the false prosperity gospel, and his therapeutic self-help doctrine is derived from the law of attraction teaching of Theosophy founder Elena Blavatsky. But, but do you feel like, you know, there, you have a moral imperative to to speak publicly about some of these more controversial issues? No, because we try to be like Jesus. Very rarely did Jesus ever talk about morality or social issues. What? Have you not read the Sermon on the Mount? That is not the true Jesus of the New Testament. That is the false Jesus that Paul spoke of in Galatians. The true Christ said we must take up our cross and follow him. He did not promise that our dreams and our felt needs would be fulfilled. The cost of that discipleship may mean we end up losing all those dreams for the sake of the kingdom. Be attentive to individual needs. That's interesting. Isn't that cool? That's why some churches want us to give blanket answers on huge issues. Well, my Bible says be attentive to individual needs. Wait a minute. Paul didn't write in a paraphrased English translation that's primarily for children and English language learners. He wrote in Koine Greek. I think we need to consult a New Testament Greek scholar for this. There is nothing in the text about attentive to individual needs. It's not there. It's, it's made up. It's, it's Joseph Smith type stuff. All right, Dr. White. But I'm sure the MSG translation Mr. Lentz is using here is accurate in other places, right? I mean, Christians, Christians, you all know the Lord's Prayer. You know, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know that? I'm sure the message has got that right, right? Our Father in heaven, reveal who you are. Set the world right. Do what's best. As above, so below. Oh. The Christian doctrine of total depravity is the biblical teaching that men and women are incapable of pleasing God. 
because their wills are enslaved to sin as a result of the fall. Only the transforming power of the Holy Spirit can change their hearts. In stark contrast, Hillsong's doctrinal statement says that Christ's life, death, and resurrection was to prove his victory and empower us for life. This man-centered approach is a recurring theme throughout Hillsong's global ministry empire. Hillsong's leaders focus primarily on the potential humans have to do great things and be great people. But man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. Overall, the message of Hillsong is very, very dangerous. I would strongly recommend that Christians stay as far away from the organization as possible. As always, I welcome all thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the material on this channel, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. If you want to see more of my content, there will be an end screen popping up on the upper left. I upload a new video every Saturday. And for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the love of God, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all always. I will see you all in Saturday's video. God's blessings on your week.